think the huts are a really cool way to get you deeper into the backcountry and they really allow you to just like go for big long days. Love hut trips because you're not going to your regular shelter. Um, at the end of the day, you're going to this other place you're calling home and uh, your energy is focused around time together and time skiing. Um, it's a good spot to just kind of come out and relax, take the moment as it is and, and be out in the wilderness. Pre-hut smiles, pre-hut fresh. My name is Jenna Kane, and we are here at the Frog Lake Cuts. My name is Brennan Legassi, and we are at the Frog Lake Cuts in the Northern Sierra. It's the Frog Lake Cuts? Yeah. Okay. I'm Molly, and we are out here in the Frog Lake Cuts, uh, skiing and chilling. You show up, you unload all your gear, and you really, like, feel into the place and it becomes your temporary home. You can create this sort of little community vibe with everyone you're with. I've been fortunate to, to guide in and, and see other huts around the world. And coming to this place, I was like, whoa, this is in the Northern Sierra and I feel like I could be way outside of North America. Well, this one specifically is extremely luxurious. So there's a full blown kitchen and coffee, 5.30 a.m. every morning, free slippers fireplaces, uh, friendly people, and yeah, it's living the life out here. The ability to be present, just hanging out in the hut, all that matters is what you're gonna do that next day, where you're gonna ski. Tide's pretty low this season, so there's not a lot of stuff in. Well, we had a storm recently. A little bit of a reset, but just enough to smooth out surface conditions. The timing was just perfect. <laughs> Skiing with Jenna and Brennan was awesome. Yeah, they were both very talented athletes, so it's always exciting to ski with other people that you can learn from and, and kind of uh, take their skills a little bit and get some good advice too from experienced, experienced folks. So it was a really great learning experience for me to be out with them and um, just kind of like following their lead out here in the backcountry was pretty awesome. Um, it was really fun to kind of lean on each other and feed off of each other. Um, I think we were all really fired up on what we got to ski. Oh, <laughs> yes. We had soft snow, uh, really stable conditions, really forgiving, and we've been skiing lots of north facing trees. We were just laughing and sharing stories the whole time. They have such great energy. I feel really fortunate to spend some time in the mountains with them. Um, and Frog Lake's amazing. You have terrain at the opposite ends of either spectrum. You have really um, some really interesting, complex, steep um, terrain to check out if that's what you're into. Yeah, we went out to a northern facing cooler, so it was a bit of a gamble for not knowing if it's gonna go or what the snow's gonna be like over there. And a little bit more variable than we were hoping for, but um, yeah, we found ourselves in a little bit of a of a Sierra microcosm up there, and the rocks were gorgeous. 
Uh, the terrain is actually pretty diverse. There's a whole range of you know, different features and lines. Uh, so we found, found steep couloirs and some full-on wintry conditions, so it's really been the full range. Yeah, Molly! Yeah, we, we, we sent it. It's a good spot to just kind of come out and relax, whether or not you go skiing all day or not, you can kind of um, take the moment as it is and, and be out in the wilderness. One of the best parts about hiking into a hut in the woods and out in the mountains is that you really do get to escape from the outside world and you know put your phone in airplane mode and just be present. And that's one of the rare times we get to do that. So when you can like really be here and and uh, feel the vibe, you know, and let it stick with you and carry through with you out into the other things that you do. That's that's pretty special. It's one of the, the many other indirect gifts that you get from just coming, spending a little time on the mountain. I think the huts are a really cool way to get you deeper into the backcountry when you're sleeping in a place this nice with heat and food and water. It's really quite an experience.